Dynamic trimming is something I use a lot. It helps me fine tune my edits on the timeline and allows me to quickly and easily add just a little space between the track and a sound bite so the edit is not so abrupt. We hope our fellow citizens will seriously their country has done for them. We hope our fellow citizens will seriously their country their country has done for them. We hope our fellow citizens will seriously to use dynamic trimming, simply double click on a transition point. You will see your viewer and canvas change into the trim edit windows. This shows you in the left window the last frame of video from your media to the left of the transition, and in the right window it shows you the first frame of video from your media to the right of the transition point. To extend the top of your sound bite, roll your cursor over to the right window and when it turns into a film canister with the film sticking out to the right, click on the window. You can now choose to extend the media one or five frames by clicking on the minus five or minus one button. If you want to trim your media, use the plus five or plus one button. If you wanted to change your out point, simply double click on that transition and roll your cursor over the left window, then click on that window. The same film canister will appear, but the film will be sticking out to the left. When you use the dynamic trimming tool, you will actually see your media grow or shrink in the timeline, and will have visual proof of what your fifth grade math teacher said when she talked about negative numbers making things bigger. A word of warning. When you are done with dynamic trimming, click anywhere on the timeline to get out of it. If you don't, something less than wonderful might happen when you hit play. Your fifth grade teacher warned you about this. What would you do?